One of the greatest legends of our world is the infamous city of Atlantis, described in myths as one of the most remarkable and dazzling cities to have ever existed. It sadly fell into the ocean, <laughs> or so the stories say. But what if the stories are true? Could there really be a gorgeous city simply sitting at the bottom of the ocean? Let's investigate together. Grab your snorkel gear. These are 20 pieces of evidence that the lost city of Atlantis existed. Number 20. Santorini, the original Atlantis. Indeed, the allure of Atlantis has captivated scholars and dreamers alike for centuries. As we set out to find the truth, a fascinating theory emerges that places the mystical city in an unexpected location. Could the island of Santorini, located in the Aegean Sea, where the sea is blue, be the original Atlantis? The connection between Santorini and Atlantis stems from a catastrophic event that unfolded in ancient times. About 3,600 years ago, a huge volcano erupted on the island of Santorini. It was one of the biggest in known history. The force unleashed was of such magnitude that it forever changed the island's landscape. The eruption devastated the region and left behind a striking geological feature, the famous caldera. This massive submerged crater, surrounded by sheer cliffs and adorned with picturesque towns, is a testament to the power of nature and the cataclysmic events that unfolded eons ago. But how does this link Santorini to Atlantis? Well, ancient accounts from the revered philosopher Plato provide some intriguing clues. In his dialogues, Plato describes Atlantis as a powerful and advanced civilization beyond the Pillars of Hercules. Many researchers interpret this as a reference to the Atlantic Ocean. However, some argue that Plato's description bears a striking resemblance to the geography and characteristics of Santorini. The island's location in the Aegean Sea, its volcanic history, and the presence of an advanced Minoan civilization during that period align with Plato's account of Atlantis. Furthermore, archaeological excavations on Santorini have unearthed remnants of an ancient city, Akrotiri. This remarkably well-preserved settlement, buried beneath layers of volcanic ash, showcases a sophisticated society with advanced architectural techniques and intricate frescoes. Could this be the remnants of Atlantis? Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the strange topic. Take a look at this gorgeous Chinese temple. Beautiful, ain't it? But what's it got to do with the lost city of Atlantis? Well, ask yourself this. How did a random patch of land like that just appear there? Why is there an island that thin, wafer thin, that small? Well, many people have begun to suspect that it's no mere island. <laughs> no. Ooh. But actually, the last remaining patch of land from Atlantis after the rest of it fell into the ocean. The foundations are so strong, it's argued it simply must have once been part of a larger landmass. And the city of Atlantis fits the bill. Now, you might be thinking, well, wait, the supposed location of Atlantis was nowhere near China. <laughs> to be clear, this temple is slap bang where people said Atlantis would have been. So there, the Chinese government just chose to build a temple there because they were the ones who discovered it. Meh, meh, meh. Neener, neener. As a result, marine biologists have urgently begun exploring the surrounding waters for any evidence of the fabled lost city. If they find anything and it becomes public knowledge, we'll be sure to report it here. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag strange topic. Number 19, the Antikythera Mechanism. The Antikythera Mechanism, a marvel from the ancient world, continues to perplex scholars and enthusiasts with its intricate design and astronomical capabilities discovered over a century ago. This hand-powered device is a testament to our ancient ancestors' remarkable knowledge and ingenuity. Researchers have grappled with unraveling the secrets concealed within the Antikythera mechanism for years. Its complex system of gear wheels and intricate mechanisms allowed it to accurately display celestial movements and predict planetary positions, lunar phases, and even solar and lunar eclipses. The sophistication of this device has left experts astounded prompting them to question its origins and purpose. Recently, a team of researchers from University College London has made significant strides in demystifying the Antikythera mechanism. They have proposed a solution that sheds light on its inner workings, 
offering a glimpse into the ancient technology that powered this ancient astronomical calculator. With their newfound understanding, the researchers have undertaken the ambitious task of reconstructing the Antikythera mechanism. Armed with modern machinery, they aim to recreate a functioning replica and test the viability of their proposal. Moreover, their ultimate goal is to replicate the device using techniques and tools that would have been available in ancient times. By doing so, they hope to gain further insight into our ancient predecessor's craftsmanship and engineering prowess. The implications of this research are profound. If the university team can successfully recreate a fully functional replica, it would lend further weight to the notion that the knowledge and technological sophistication required to build such a device were far more advanced than previously believed. This leads us to ponder an intriguing possibility. Could the Antikythera mechanism be an artifact of the lost city of Atlantis? Its remarkable precision and complexity defy the norms of its time, hinting at a civilization with knowledge and capabilities far ahead of its era. If you want to be taken on a time travel to this incredible civilization, make sure you subscribe or you'll be left behind. Number 18. The Discovery of Mythological Metal In a recent archaeological discovery off the coast of Sicily, a shipwreck dating back around 2600 years has yielded a treasure trove of enigmatic metal ingots. These ingots, composed of a unique golden alloy, have stirred speculation and fascination among experts, linking them to the legendary civilization of Atlantis. Located in approximately 3 meters of water, just 300 meters off the coast of Jella in southern Sicily, this ancient shipwreck has revealed more than just the metal ingots. Among the artifacts recovered were two Corinthian war helmets and containers that once contained precious and fragrant oils. However, it is the rough lumps of metal, still shimmering with hues of red and gold after two millennia resting on the sea floor, that have captured the attention of the archaeological world. Could these intriguing metal ingots be composed of orichalcum, a mystical lost metal of Atlantis? According to ancient accounts, orichalcum was a highly valued and sought-after material associated with the fabled city. Descriptions of orichalcum vary, but it is often depicted as a precious, vibrant metal with a radiant golden hue. The discovery of these unusual golden alloy ingots in the shipwreck off the coast of Sicily adds an intriguing layer to the ongoing exploration of Atlantis. Could these metal ingots be a part of a trade route that connected Atlantis to other ancient civilizations? Or do they represent remnants of an advanced metallurgical technique possessed by the Atlanteans? Number 17. Atlantis and the Black Sea Flood The enigma of Atlantis, birthed from the visionary mind of the ancient Greek philosopher Plato, has become part of our collective imagination. While initially regarded as a fictional tale, the possibility that real events may have inspired Atlantis has piqued the curiosity of historians throughout the ages. In the 19th century, the concept of Atlantis as an actual civilization resurfaced thanks to the writings of various scholars. These proponents suggested that Atlantis was a highly advanced society that met a watery demise, leaving behind survivors who shared their knowledge of metallurgy and agriculture with other ancient civilizations. This theory proposes that Atlantis was a real place, once flourishing with advanced technologies and intellectual achievements. However, an alternative perspective exists, one that links Atlantis to a historical flood event. This theory parallels the legendary city in the Black Sea Deluge, a catastrophic flooding event believed to have occurred thousands of years ago. According to this hypothesis, the myth of Atlantis could be a mythical retelling of this real-life flood, a narrative passed down through generations, embellished with elements of grandeur and intrigue. Number 16. Lost City of Atlantis Found in Spain In a groundbreaking development, a team of researchers led by scientists from the United States claims to have made a remarkable discovery, the long-lost city of Atlantis. After millennia of speculation and countless theories, they believe that they have pinpointed the exact location of this mythical metropolis buried beneath the mudflats in southern Spain. Combining the expertise of archaeologists and geologists, the team have delved deep into Atlantis's mysteries. Their findings and analysis have led them to an intriguing conclusion. Atlantis, once a thriving city, was submerged by a powerful tsunami and its remains lie just north of Cadiz. 
The implications of this discovery are staggering. For centuries, Atlantis has captured the imagination of scholars and storytellers, often depicted as an advanced civilization that fell into ruin. Now, the prospect of uncovering the actual remnants of this legendary city has ignited excitement within the scientific community and beyond. The location identified by the research team in southern Spain aligns with various accounts and theories circulated over the years, from Plato's detailed descriptions to other historical and mythological references. Atlantis has long been associated with the western Mediterranean region. The team's findings lend credibility to the notion that Atlantis did exist, and its remains have been hidden beneath the Earth's surface for millennia. As we eagerly await more information from this groundbreaking research, we find ourselves on the precipice of figuring out one of the biggest secrets ever. The potential discovery of Atlantis off the coast of Spain opens up a world of possibilities and invites us to reevaluate our understanding of the past. Number 15. Monolithic Structures in Ireland In a thought-provoking new theory by Swedish scientist Erlingsson, the legendary island nation of Atlantis finds its unexpected match in the beautiful land of Ireland. Contrary to traditional beliefs, Erlingsson suggests that Atlantis, as described by the Greek philosopher Plato over two millennia ago, was not located in the Atlantic Ocean, but rather nestled within the enchanting landscapes of Ireland. According to Plato's writings, Atlantis was an advanced civilization that thrived approximately 11,500 years ago until its catastrophic end, sinking beneath the waves in a cataclysmic event. Drawing upon meticulous measurements, geographic details, and the overall landscape described by Plato, Erlingsson has made an astonishing observation the characteristics of Atlantis align most perfectly with those of Ireland. The similarities between Atlantis and Ireland as proposed by Erlingsson are striking. From the landmass and geographical features to the measurements and even the overall ambience, Ireland seemed to mirror the descriptions laid out by Plato. These resemblances have prompted Erlingsson to delve deeper into the idea that the lost city of Atlantis may have been found not in the depths of the Atlantic, but amidst the lush greenery and mystique of Ireland. Number 14. Professor might have found Atlantis. Step into the world of Dr. Richard Frund, a prominent figure at the Greenberg Center for Judaic Studies. And you may find yourself compelled to believe that the lost city of Atlantis lies hidden deep within a swamp in southern Spain. Collaborating with a team of scientists from Spain, the United States, and Canada, Frund embarked on a remarkable expedition to investigate this intriguing possibility. The story begins with a German scientist who, in 2003, stumbled upon a satellite photo suggesting that the muddy swamp in Spain could be a potential location for Atlantis. Intrigued by this discovery, Frund and his team set out to unveil the secrets concealed beneath the marshy terrain. Where we may be looking at the single most important site for humanity. The findings from Furin's 2009 expedition and his international team's research are vividly captured in the National Geographic Channel film titled Finding Atlantis. This captivating documentary, set to premiere on March 13th at 9 p.m., delves into the thrilling journey of exploration and discovery. Before the premiere, the Greenberg Center for Judaic Studies will show the movie at a special event on March 9th at 7 p.m., in the university's wild auditorium, inviting the public to join in this enthralling exploration. Number 13, Ancient Japanese Atlantis Found Underwater. In the depths of Japan's northern Ryukyu Islands, a diver's fortuitous encounter in 1987 unveiled an astonishing sight, an underwater monument that has come to be known as the Yonaguni Monument. Located 25 meters below the surface, this unique structure features a series of intricately carved steps with remarkably straight edges stretching an impressive 50 meters in length and 20 meters in width. This enigmatic site has earned the moniker Japan's Atlantis. Thought to be older than 10,000 years, the Yonaguni Monument has sparked intense speculation about its origins and purpose. Some experts propose that it may be the remnants of a long-lost Pacific civilization. potentially constructed by Japan's prehistoric Jomon people, who inhabited the islands as early as 12,000 BC. The monument's precise craftsmanship and geometric design have led proponents of this theory to suggest 
advanced engineering skills, and architectural knowledge. However, not all interpretations align with this view. Skeptics argue that the Yonaguni Monument could be a natural formation akin to similar geological formations in different parts of the world. They point to examples like the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland, where interlocking basalt columns were created through volcanic eruptions millions of years ago. These formations possess distinct edges and flat surfaces reminiscent of the features observed at the Yonaguni Monument. Number 12. Eye of Africa, Atlantis The Eye of Africa, also known as the Richat structure, presents us with a fascinating geological phenomenon that has intrigued scientists and sparked the imaginations of many. Situated in the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert in Mauritania near Oadane, this prominent circular feature spans an impressive 50 kilometers and is even visible from space. Initially, experts hypothesized that the Richot structure could result from an asteroid impact due to its remarkable circularity. Another theory suggested that a volcanic eruption might have formed it, although the absence of volcanic rock domes posed a challenge to this explanation. Instead, the prevailing belief today is that the structure is a deeply eroded geologic dome that eventually collapsed, sculpted by the forces of erosion acting on the uplifted rock. Nonetheless, certain aspects of the formation, such as its central rings and the near circular shape, continue to puzzle scientists. Interestingly, the resemblance between the Richot structure and Plato's descriptions of Atlantis has captivated the attention of many. According to Plato, Atlantis was a round island with land and water in concentric rings. He describes the island's submergence by an earthquake, transforming it into an impassable mud barrier for sailors venturing into the ocean. Plato also mentioned a mountain protecting the city from the north and a vast oblong-shaped plain to the south. It's worth noting that the name Atlantis itself means the island of Atlas in Greek, and nearby lies Mount Atlas to the north. Additionally, Plato stated that Atlantis was located in front of the Pillars of Hercules, aligning with the Richot structure's position regarding this geographical reference. Number 11. Malta could be the ancient Atlantis The possibility that Malta could be the ancient Atlantis presents intriguing arguments, supported by geological and archaeological evidence. Examining Plato's writings on the island, experts have drawn connections between his account of Atlantis's demise and a cataclysmic event that coincided with a disaster in Malta's history. Plato proposed that Atlantis met its tragic end due to a devastating tsunami. Interestingly, Malta was struck by an unknown catastrophe during the same period, suggesting a potential parallel. This alignment and timing adds an exciting dimension to the theory that Malta could be the lost city. Another significant aspect supporting this hypothesis is the geological history of the Maltese islands. Evidence indicates that Malta and its sister islands were once connected to Europe and Africa. Geological shifts and natural disasters likely led to the separation and formation of the islands we see today. In 2013, marine scientists from the University of Malta discovered that approximately 20,000 years ago, the Maltese islands were linked to Sicily via a land bridge. This connection confirms that the islands were once bigger than they are now, as evidenced by fossil remains of large animals such as elephants, bears, reindeer, and even hippopotamuses in caves across the island. The size of modern-day Malta would not have been sufficient to sustain such fauna, indicating a significant change in landmass over time. Moreover, Malta boasts ancient structures dating back over 9,000 years, making them among the oldest ruins in the world. Archaeological evidence scattered throughout the island supports this claim, providing further credence to the idea that Malta has a rich and ancient history. While the theory that Malta could be the lost city of Atlantis is captivating, it is crucial to approach it with a critical mindset. Additional research, exploration, and scientific investigations are necessary to delve deeper into the enigma and verify these claims. Nonetheless, the presented geological and archaeological evidence offers compelling reasons to consider Malta as a potential candidate for the legendary Atlantis. Number 10. Doggerland, Lost Atlantis of the North Sea the submerged world of Doggerland, often called the Lost Atlantis of the North Sea, has finally revealed its ancient secrets thanks to a decade of groundbreaking research and the efforts of passionate amateur archaeologists. This extraordinary underwater landscape, which once connected Britain to continental Europe, has captured the imagination since H.G. Wells first proposed the concept in the late 19th century. 
The realization that humans once inhabited Doggerland came in 1931 when the trawler Colinda dredged up a piece of peat containing a spear point, providing tangible evidence of a forgotten world beneath the waves. Since then, a dedicated army of amateur archaeologists has been scouring the Dutch coastline, unearthing a wealth of artifacts and fossils. Now, a major exhibition has been curated, offering a captivating glimpse into the lost realm of Doggerland. This vast expanse of land, submerged approximately 8,000 years ago, following a devastating tsunami, effectively cut off the British Isles from what is now Belgium, the Netherlands, and southern Scandinavia. Through the discoveries made by these passionate individuals and with the help of studies done over the past 10 years, a window into the past has been opened, giving us a better idea of how the people who used to live in Doggerland lived. The exhibition showcases the artifacts, fossils, and insights gained from this submerged world, providing a fascinating opportunity to explore and understand the rich history and the lost civilization that once thrived in this now-submerged landscape. The exploration of Doggerland has been a remarkable endeavor, made possible by the dedication and enthusiasm of professionals and amateurs alike. Their efforts have unearthed a treasure trove of knowledge about our distant past and helped us understand the links between the British Isles and continental Europe. The exhibit asks people to take a trip through time, delving into the mysteries of Doggerland and marveling at the artifacts and remnants of a lost civilization. Perhaps an opportunity to interact with the fascinating story of this submerged Atlantis, once hidden beneath the waves, but now brought to life through researchers' collective efforts and amateur archaeologists' invaluable contributions. Number 9. Lost City of Atlantis Discovered? Grainy images show city-like formations at the bottom of the Caribbean. Recently, a group of anonymous scientists have inspired excitement by releasing grainy images captured beneath the Caribbean. According to these scientists, the images depict what could potentially be the ruins of a lost city, possibly predating Egypt's pyramids that emerged after 2600 BC. They suggest that one of the structures resembles a pyramid. The identity of the scientists remains undisclosed, adding an air of mystery to the discovery. While they have chosen not to disclose the exact location, stating that it is somewhere in the Caribbean Sea, they are now seeking funding to explore this secret site further. Naturally, the claims have generated considerable interest and speculation online, with many fascinated by the possibility of uncovering a lost civilization. The legend of Atlantis has captivated millions over the centuries. The idea of a once magnificent city possessing immense wealth, knowledge, and power, only to be swallowed by the ocean's depths, inspires curiosity and imagination. While some skeptics remain cautious, Refraining from completely dismissing these claims, they eagerly await further evidence and exploration. In a world filled with unanswered questions and hidden mysteries, the possibility of discovering Atlantis holds a special allure. As the anonymous scientists embark on their journey to uncover the truth behind these enigmatic images, the hopes of unraveling the secrets of Atlantis remains a tantalizing possibility. Number 8. The Guanches of the Canary Islands The Guanches, the indigenous inhabitants of the Canary Islands, have long been shrouded in mystery and speculation. Among the various theories surrounding their origins, one intriguing idea proposes a connection between the Guanches and the legendary lost city of Atlantis. According to some legends and beliefs, the Guanches were the descendants of the Atlanteans who survived the cataclysmic event that submerged their advanced civilization. This theory suggests that the Guanches retained knowledge and cultural remnants from their Atlantean ancestors manifested in their unique customs, traditions, and physical characteristics. However, it's important to note that this theory is highly speculative and lacks substantial scientific evidence. The Guanches had a rich and distinct culture, including their language, religious beliefs, and social organization. While there are similarities and parallels between various ancient civilizations, attributing the Guanches' origins solely to Atlantis remains a matter of conjecture. Other hypotheses propose different origins for the Guanches, suggesting connections to civilizations such as ancient Egyptians or the Mayans of Central America. These theories speculate on possible transoceanic contact or shared cultural and technological influences. Number 7. Lost City of Atlantis Found The idea that Atlantis may be located in Antarctica has captivated the imagination of many researchers and enthusiasts. The theory gained traction due to various factors, including Antarctica's remote and mysterious nature 
and its largely unexplored regions. However, it's important to approach these claims with a critical mindset and consider the available evidence. In recent years, ice melting in Antarctica has revealed intriguing geological formations and structures that some have speculated could be remnants of an ancient civilization, including the fabled city of Atlantis. Images captured by satellite or exploratory missions often generate excitement and fuel speculation about hidden ancient cities or lost civilizations. While these discoveries are fascinating, it's exercising caution and scrutinizing the available evidence that's crucial. Many of these formations can be attributed to natural geological processes like erosion, subglacial volcanism, or tectonic activity. With comprehensive and rigorous scientific investigation, it is easier to determine the true nature and origin of these structures. It is worth noting that mainstream scientific consensus does not support the notion that Atlantis exists or is located in Antarctica. The concept of Atlantis, as described by Plato, is widely regarded as a fictional allegory rather than a historical account. Plato presented Atlantis as a moral tale, emphasizing the consequences of hubris and the transience of earthly power. Number six, did Atlantis exist on the Moroccan coast? Michael Hubner's hypothesis suggesting that Atlantis may be located on the Moroccan coast is an intriguing perspective that adds a new twist to the ongoing search for the lost city. According to Hubner, instead of Atlantis being submerged beneath the waves, it is possible that the city was temporarily sunken by a powerful tsunami before re-emerging above sea level. While this theory challenges the traditional notion of Atlantis being permanently submerged, it's essential to approach it with a critical mindset and evaluate the available evidence. Hubner's hypothesis relies on examining ruins and features along the dry coastline of Morocco that could potentially be remnants of the ancient city. These features could include geological formations, ancient structures, or artifacts that align with the descriptions and characteristics associated with Atlantis. Comprehensive scientific investigations including archaeological excavations, geological surveys, and interdisciplinary research would be necessary to validate this hypothesis. Such efforts would provide a more concrete understanding of the origin and significance of the features along the Moroccan coast. It is worth noting that Atlantis remains a subject of debate and speculation, with numerous theories proposing different locations for the lost city. The search for Atlantis has spanned continents and oceans, highlighting humanity's enduring fascination with the idea of a once great civilization lost to time. Number five, evidence of Wales's Atlantis off Ceredigion. The discovery of two islands on the Gao map, thought to be from the 13th century, has brought up the idea of a lost land off the coast of Ceredigion, often called the Welsh Atlantis. The legend of Cantrer Gwylod, a land submerged beneath the sea, has been passed down through generations, recounting the tale of its demise after a priestess allowed a fairy well to overflow. The presence of these two islands on the Gao map aligns with the geographical location described in the legend and raises intriguing questions about their historical significance. The islands, depicted as approximately a quarter the size of Anglesey, provides a link to the mythical Welsh Atlantis. To validate this hypothesis, further research and investigation would be required. Scholars and historians would need to analyze the map in detail, considering its accuracy, sources, and the context in which it was created. They would also need to examine other historical records and folklore associated with the region to gather more evidence. The Gao map, the oldest surviving map of Great Britain, holds valuable insights into the historical landscape of the country. Its inclusion of the two islands off Ceredigion adds another layer of intrigue to the quest for Wales's Atlantis. Researchers will continue to delve into this discovery, employing various techniques such as cartographic analysis and historical comparison to shed light on the existence and fate of the alleged lost land. Uncovering the truth behind legends and myths requires a meticulous examination of available evidence and a comprehensive understanding of the historical and cultural context in which they originated. As researchers explore the possibilities presented by the Gao map, they contribute to our collective knowledge and appreciation of Wales's rich folklore and heritage. Number four, places believed to be the location of Atlantis. The Azores have long been associated with the possibility of being the lost city of Atlantis. The archipelago's location in the mid-Atlantic aligns with descriptions of Atlantis 
as a large island in the ocean that surrounds the continents. The idea that the Azores could be the remnants of Atlantis has intrigued many, including Portuguese government agencies. The Azores, consisting of nine volcanic islands, bear geological similarities to what one might expect from a sunken landmass. The islands were formed through volcanic activity, adding to the intrigue. Additionally, there are legends and local folklore in the Azores that speak of a lost civilization beneath the sea. While these connections are intriguing, it's important to approach the possibility of the Azores being Atlantis with caution. The search for Atlantis has led to various theories and proposed locations throughout history, and the Azores is just one among many. Rigorous scientific research, archaeological investigations, and further exploration would be needed to provide concrete evidence supporting or debunking the claim that the Azores is Atlantis. Number 3. The Volcanic Island of Thera The volcanic eruption of Thera, also known as Santorini, is a significant event linked to the myth of Atlantis. The cataclysmic explosion of Thera occurred centuries before the Trojan War and had far-reaching effects on the ancient world. The eruption was so powerful that it buried the town of Akrotiri on Thera and generated massive tsunamis that impacted the Minoan civilization on Crete. The connection between the Thera eruption and Atlantis is speculative, but some authors have proposed that the legend of Atlantis may have originated from cultural memories of this catastrophic event. The eruption's magnitude and its impact on nearby civilizations could have left lasting impressions and influenced the storytelling and myth-making of ancient cultures. The Thera eruption's precise date has been debated among archaeologists and radiocarbon daters. Egyptian records and pottery have been used to suggest an early date proof and 1500 BCE, while radiocarbon dates from Akrotiri and surrounding sites, including the preservation of an olive tree buried by the eruption, point to a date more than 100 years earlier, in the late 17th century BCE. The dating of the Thera eruption is crucial for understanding the chronologies of ancient civilizations such as the Greeks, Minoans, and Egyptians. It allows researchers to establish timelines and connect historical events and cultural developments. Number 2. Bimini Road and an Underwater Rock The Bimini Road, which is also known as the Bimini Wall, is an interesting underwater rock formation that has intrigued people who think Atlantis existed. Located off the coast of North Bimini in the Bahamas, this formation is situated about 18 feet below the sea surface. The Bimini Road stretches for approximately half a mile in a straight line before curving gracefully at its end. It consists of large, rectangular-shaped limestone blocks that appear carefully laid out in a linear pattern. Some proponents of the Atlantis theory suggest that this formation could be remnants of an ancient harbor or a manufactured structure from the lost city. Supporters of the Atlantis hypothesis point to the similarities between the Bimini Road and ancient architectural features in other parts of the world. The precise arrangement of the rocks, along with their linear alignment, has led some to believe that an advanced civilization intentionally constructed them. But it's important to remember that most scientists still don't believe there was a link between the Bimini Road and Atlantis. Many geologists and archaeologists argue that the formation is most likely a natural occurrence due to geological processes or coral growth. To date, no definitive evidence has been presented to conclusively link the Bimini Road to the legendary city of Atlantis. The debate continues among researchers, and further investigations and scientific analysis are necessary to understand better the nature and origin of this intriguing underwater formation. Number 1. Temple Remains in Cadiz The recent findings presented by Francisco José García and Ricardo Belizón Aragón at the University of Seville have sparked excitement among researchers and archaeologists. Using advanced technology such as light detection and ranging survey, they have discovered a submerged structure off the coast of Cadiz in southern Spain that bears striking similarities to the descriptions of the Temple of Hercules which is associated with the legend of Atlantis. The researchers have conducted extensive studies and analyses of the site, comparing it with ancient descriptions and accounts. They believe that the structure they have uncovered could be the remains of the fabled temple mentioned by Plato in his writings about Atlantis. The Temple of Hercules played a very important role in the history and mythology of Atlantis, according to the accounts. 
The underwater structure aligns with the characteristics and dimensions described in ancient texts, providing evidence supporting a connection between Cadiz and Atlantis. The discovery has generated significant interest and excitement within the archaeological community as it potentially sheds new light on the elusive lost city. Just how important these findings are cannot be overstated. If further research and investigations confirm the link between the submerged structure and Plato's Atlantis, it could be a groundbreaking discovery that enhances our understanding of ancient civilizations and their mythical narratives. It may also provide valuable insights into the history and cultural heritage of the region. This is it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe to our channel for more captivating content, and leave a comment.